Are you looking to create a professional looking email signature with clickable links in Gmail for free? Because if that's the case, you are definitely in the right place because that is what I'm diving into in today's video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And usually on this channel, I talk about SEO, visibility, marketing, and sometimes I do some DIY tech tutorials like this one. So I've gotten a lot of questions lately about how I've been able to create my custom email signature in Gmail. My email signature has a photo of me. It has different social media links, and it also includes links of things that I want to promote. It's super customizable and it's pretty easy to create on your own. So that's why I wanted to create this tutorial to walk you through the entire process. So obviously I'm going to show you how to do this in Gmail, but you might be able to follow a similar process for other email providers like Outlook, but I just can't swear by those because obviously I haven't tested them. So like I mentioned before, this email signature that we are about to create, it's going to have individual clickable links. And you're probably thinking like, okay, like what's the alternative? <laughs> I have seen some people create like big images or like cute little designs in Photoshop or in Canva and it's got their picture and it's got like their website and everything, but they export it as just one big image and then they upload it to their email signature. And the reason why that's an issue is because some email providers don't automatically download the images in your email. So if that's the case, then your entire email signature is not going to show up. So you're not going to be able to show them your name, your title, your website, anything text-based. It also becomes a big pain in the butt because like you can't make anything clickable in your email signature. And like, what if people want to stalk your social media? What if they want to go to your website? So to solve all of those problems, let's create a clickable email signature in Gmail. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is go to Google Drive. So I always like to set this up by getting everything that I need together first before I go ahead and put it together, okay? So what, we're, what you can do is go ahead and right click, create a new folder that says email signature. I already have one created, so I'm just gonna click on that. Okay, so this is where we are going to put the images that you want in your email signature. So for me, I'm going to do my headshot. If you would prefer to do your logo, totally fine, not a big deal. We're also going to add the images of social media icons to this folder as well. So the first thing that we want to do is get our headshot or our logo, whatever you want here. I've tested this a few times and I do find that it's easier to resize the images before you upload them to your email signature because changing the size of the image it sometimes messes up like the cropping and stuff when you do it inside of the Google Doc that we're going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my image here. I'm going to hit tools and I'm just going to adjust the size. So I've done some testing and I think we're going to do 175 pixels because I feel like that is a good size for an email signature. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Once that is resized, go ahead and drop it into your email signature folder. So the next thing that we have to do is get the images for our social media accounts, like whichever ones that we want to link in this email signature. So there's a few ways to do this. One way is to go to iconfinder.com and I'll put the link to this in the description below. So you can go ahead and you can download these social media icons for free and they have the option to do like the native colors that the social media platforms are or if you scroll down, they also give you the option to download the black version of them, okay? So what you would do is just click on whichever one you want and you can click more sizes. I suggest probably doing 32 pixels or 48 pixels so you don't have to resize this image after you download it, okay? So you would just click on the pixel, click download, and then you would drag these into your email signature. Okay, so the other way that you can do this is by going over to Canva and you can create a design, do a custom size. We could just do 40 times 40 
create a new design, and then head over to elements here. And you can type in whichever icon, whichever social media icon you want to find. I already have them all up here because I was testing this before the video. So you can go ahead and click on it and you can drag it to make sure that it is the right size. And then you can add a page and it's going to create like another box that's also 40 by 40 pixels. This is a really great way to also make sure that your images are also the same size because when you resize them in a Google Doc, you have to like resize them individually and then they become like all funky with different sizes. So you can just do it this way. So Canva is a really good option if you want to change the color of it. Like if you weren't cool with like the black or the native color of the app, come into Canva and go ahead and click that color icon and you can change it to your brand colors or whatever color you want. So when you feel like you are all good to go, just come up here to the share button and we're gonna go ahead and click download. So if you have the option to export them with a transparent background, go ahead and do that. If you don't have Canva Pro, you're probably not gonna be able to do this. It's not really make or break. The main difference is, is that if we export it as a PNG with a transparent background, that's how they're gonna export, with a transparent background. If we export them without the transparent background or as like a JPEG file, they're gonna have this white background behind it, okay? So in this situation, it's probably not a big deal because the background of your email signature is likely going to be white as well. So these images, image backgrounds will go ahead and just blend in okay so go ahead and download those and it's going to download into a zip file so we want to open up the zip file take all of these images and drag them into our shared folder so i've already done this but the next thing that we're going to want to do is right click and create a google document okay so once you have a, a Google document open, click insert and click table. We're gonna do just a two by one table here. And we're gonna go ahead and put the headshot, your logo, whatever you want over here. So I just wanna make a really quick note here. The image that I'm using, as you saw before, it's square, okay? So I know some people would prefer to have a circle image. So I created a separate tutorial that walks you through two different ways on how to crop an image into a circle. So I'll leave that link to the tutorial in the description below. I'm not gonna go through it in this one, but yeah, um, after you crop it into a circle, come back to this tutorial. So what we're gonna do is put our cursor in this left box right here, and we're gonna click on insert image. We're gonna click Drive because we've already uploaded all of our images to our Google Drive folder. So you might have to click on My Drive and manually find that email signature folder that we created. Okay, so once you find the folder, go ahead and click on the image that you want to insert. You can double click it or you can click Insert here. And so it's gonna show up on the left-hand side. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna drag it over because we want more room for the actual text. So on the right side here, this is where you're gonna add all of the other elements to your email signature. So you can add your name, your title, your website. We're also gonna put our social media links here. I am just going to copy and paste one that I already have so you don't have to watch me like type everything out. Okay, so I do want to make a note about styling text. Some people want to come in here and use really cool, funky, custom fonts and all of that fun stuff. Honestly, it doesn't really translate because email service providers don't have a lot of options like uploaded to the email service server or whatever it's called. So if you're using any custom fonts, it's unlikely to show up when we translate it over to the email signature in Gmail itself. So this is a list of the font options that Gmail gives you in the email signature creation area. These are the ones that are safe. These are the ones that are included. You might be able to get away with using another kind of font, but you're gonna have to test and tweak with that, okay? I can't promise that if you wanna use like Playfair display that it's gonna like pop over to the email signature. So if you wanna play it safe, 
keep it, keep it with these bad boys. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do, I've already done it, but just go ahead and add the links to the things that you want in the text itself. So I added the link to my website. I added the link to my podcast and my YouTube channel. So underneath these is where we want to add our social media icons. Okay. So we're going to do the same process that we did for this cute little headshot. I'm going to click insert image, go to drive, and then go ahead and insert all of your social media icons. And then obviously we don't just want to add the image. We need to add the links as well. So go ahead and hover over the image itself or click on it and then click the insert link button in the top toolbar. This is where you're going to paste the link to your specific social media profile. Okay. So you would just go ahead and paste the link in there and click apply. So you're going to do that for all of them. Okay. So once you are all set with that, we need to get rid of this not so cute black border around here. So go ahead and hover or select the entire table and click this more thing. And sometimes it gets funky. So it's like sometimes we got to click on certain elements of the table itself. But basically we want to see these three options and we want to click zero. So sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So now when I select all of it, I can click zero. Basically what we want is to not see that black border at all. Once you've done that, we are ready to copy all of this and paste it into our Gmail signature. So come over to Gmail and click the settings gear icon, see all settings. And then you're going to scroll down to your signature. So I'm just going to create a new one just so you can see this whole process here. And we are just going to go ahead and paste what we created from this doc into our signature. So it should come up relatively similar. Like I said, if you were testing out different fonts, it might show up different. This email or this toolbar right here does support different text colors. It supports bold text, italic, all of that stuff. If you do want to go ahead and customize it that way, just before we go ahead and save, just make sure that the links all make sense here. So go ahead and click on the social media icons, make sure that they have links, all of that fun stuff. When you feel good about this, go ahead and click save changes down below and then click compose because we want to test this stuff out. So I just need to create the or click on the one that we just made. So as you can see, this is the email signature that we made in this doc. So everything looks pretty good. So I would actually go in and retest everything. OK, retest all of the links. Make sure that they go to the right places. But if you want to go and like re edit this, just go back to settings. See all settings. Close this out head back to the email signature. I'm just going to want to add a little break, a little line in there, save changes, and then we'll see if that added it. Choose. You're probably not going to need to manage these different signatures. I literally only have these because I'm creating this tutorial. So that is that one. Just make sure that all of those work and you should be pretty good to go with that. So before we close out of this tutorial altogether, I did want to make a really quick note here about using a custom email signature on a mobile device. OK, so a desktop email signature and an email signature that shows up when you're emailing somebody from your mobile phone, they use different signatures as of the time that I'm creating this tutorial. So I wanted to mention that I have had success copying my email signature from my phone. So like opening up the mail app, selecting my email signature from a previous email, selecting it all, copying it and pasting it into my Apple's email signature settings, which can be found in the iPhone by going to settings and then mail and then signature. You're just going to see like this really empty box there and it's not going to have a toolbar. You're not going to be able to customize anything from your phone itself. But if you go ahead and put the cursor or click on it 
and then click paste, you should see a rough version that is really similar to your desktop email signature. So I'm not saying that these are going to look identical, but for me personally, I don't really need them to look identical, so it doesn't really matter to me, but I just wanted to go ahead and to include that tip in case that you're somebody who uses your phone for sending emails all the time. And then just like everything else, I always recommend that you test it out. So go ahead and create an email from your phone, test it out, check the links, make sure that everything is good to go on there. But that's it for today's video. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, give me a a really quick thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next video.